The fascinating correlation between the sounds bees make and the design of their honeycombs is deeply rooted in cymatics. This field investigates how sound vibrations can manipulate physical formations and substances within bee habitats. The buzzing of bees, a consequence of the rapid flapping of their wings, transcends mere flight functionality. It may be instrumental in the architectural development of their honeycombs, showcasing bees' remarkable capabilities. Intriguingly, bees buzzing in the key of C within their hives have been observed to alleviate symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, over time. Renowned for their geometric perfection, honeycombs consist of hexagons that maximize both spatial efficiency and structural integrity. This theory proposes that these specific sound vibrations could play a role in shaping the wax into such efficient structures. The concept of cymatics, introduced in the 1960s by Hans Jenny, but recognized for much longer, is predicated on the idea that sound is a fundamental element in the creation of various forms and structures. It studies how different sound frequencies can generate distinct patterns in mediums like liquids, powders, and small granules. When these materials are placed on a surface and exposed to targeted sound frequencies, they shift and form patterns that reflect the sound wave's properties. Demonstrations typically involve a cladney plate sprinkled with sand or salt, which, when vibrated at specific frequencies, causes the particles to align in patterns indicative of the sound's waveform. Each frequency results in a unique design, ranging from basic lines to intricate forms, thereby illustrating the direct relationship between sound frequencies and physical structures. This principle is essential in theorizing how bees might employ sound in the construction of their hives. It suggests that the sound vibrations created by bees may precisely tune their buzzing to enhance the wax formation into hexagonal patterns, the most efficient shape for storage and structural stability, crucial for the hive's endurance. Bees, through the process of evolution, may have developed the ability to utilize sound for more than just communication, potentially for environmental modification. This concept opens new pathways in comprehending animal behavior and the complex interactions between different species and their environments. Additionally, it highlights the potential role of natural sound vibrations in shaping physical constructions, a principle applicable in various scientific and engineering disciplines. Anthony Holland's groundbreaking cancer research at Skidmore College employs resonant frequencies to specifically target and dismantle cancer cells. His work is focused on pinpointing precise frequencies that can disrupt the internal structure of cancer cells, leading them to fragment similarly to how glass shatters when subjected to a high-pitched sound. Research has revealed that cancer cells are particularly susceptible to frequencies ranging between 100,000 Hz and 300,000 Hz. Utilizing this insight, Holland's methodology has emerged as a potential alternative to conventional cancer treatments, such as chemotherapy and radiation, which often indiscriminately affect both healthy and cancerous cells. Holland's experimental work, encompassing various types of cancer such as leukemia, pancreatic and ovarian cancers, has demonstrated that specific frequencies can lead to the breakdown of cancer cells. This approach, known as resonant frequency therapy, is based on the principle that every object has an inherent natural frequency. By applying these identified frequencies to cancer cells, Holland aims to selectively destroy these cells without damaging the surrounding healthy tissue. The method involves the use of specially designed devices to directly administer these frequencies to cancer cells, and the preliminary outcomes from these experiments have shown promise, suggesting that resonant frequency therapy could be a more targeted and less detrimental option for cancer treatment. Moreover, the interplay between sound, particularly music, and cognitive enhancement is illustrated by the Mozart effect. This phenomenon, which gained attention in the 1990s, posits that, listening to Mozart's music, characterized by its complex array of tunes and rhythms, might enhance mental function. The hypothesis is that Mozart's intricate musical composition resonates with the brain's natural patterns, thereby promoting improved and more innovative thinking. Studies have indicated that individuals who listen to Mozart's music perform better in tasks requiring spatial temporal reasoning skills. Expanding on the Mozart effect, another notable aspect of sound's impact on the brain involves the 40 Hz frequency. Neuroscientist Andrew Huberman has suggested that listening to a 40 HD frequency can significantly enhance focus and cognitive performance before undertaking mentally demanding activities. This recommendation stems from the understanding that specific sound frequencies, especially 40 E, can positively affect brain function. The 40 Z frequency is part of the gamma wave range associated with advanced brain functions such as information processing and memory. 
Listening to 40 his sound is believed to prime the brain for optimal performance by synchronizing the brain's electrical activity into a more unified pattern, thereby improving cognitive capabilities. The VOR 32 hertz frequency, shrouded in mystique, is acclaimed for its perceived natural harmony with the universe's vibrations, contrasting starkly with the conventional 4 har 40 hazy tuning prevalent in most modern music. Advocates of the 432 hz frequency argue that it aligns with the Earth's electromagnetic field's natural frequency, approximately 8 hz, thus producing music more attuned to the natural world. This harmonic alignment is thought to exert a calming influence on the human psyche. The number 432 also holds astronomical significance, being half of the sun's diameter, approximately 864,000 miles, a coincidence that some interpret as a cosmic indication of the frequency's significance. Furthermore, the procession of the equinoxes, a cycle lasting about 25,920 years, correlates with the number 432 when multiplied by 60, totaling 25 to 9 and 20. In comparison, Music tuned to 440 chi is often criticized for its discordance with these natural patterns, potentially inducing a more anxious state and contributing to stress and emotional instability. The contrast between these two frequencies, albeit subtle, is believed to markedly affect listeners with the music tuned to 432 is often described as warmer and more comforting, while 440 Oz music is perceived as colder and more sterile. Proponents of the 432 HE tuning advocate for its healing properties citing anecdotal evidence of its effectiveness in reducing stress and promoting emotional tranquility. Whereas 448Z is sometimes perceived as exacerbating stress and emotional discomfort, the 528 ace frequency, commonly referred to as the love frequency or miracle tone, is an integral part of the ancient Solfeggio scale, known for inducing positive changes in the human body and mind. Championed by Dr. Leonard Horowitz, a proponent of the power of sound and music in healing, this frequency is thought to resonate with the core of the sun and the natural world, reverberating through the cosmos and life itself. It is believed to exert a profound impact on the body, mind, and spirit, stimulating the body's natural healing processes and fostering inner peace. Numerous individuals report enhanced peace, clarity, and well-being when utilizing this frequency, which also appears to restructure water into harmonious patterns, thereby potentially harmonizing the water within the human body and promoting healing and balance at the cellular level. In the realms of meditation and spiritual practices, the 528 HZ frequency is extensively used to promote deep relaxation, aid meditation, and facilitate a connection to higher states of consciousness. It is frequently employed in sound therapy and healing music to assist in stress relief, emotional release, and spiritual awakening. Additionally, this frequency is associated with love in the heart believed to open the heart chakra and enable deeper empathy and compassion, thereby enhancing personal well-being and improving interpersonal relationships. The Solfeggio scale, which includes the 528 Hz frequency, is an ancient musical scale utilized in sacred music and chants. It comprises six frequencies, each believed to possess unique healing attributes, 396 Hz, 417 Hz, 528 Hz, 639 Hz, 741 Hz, and 852 Hz. Each frequency on the Solfeggio scale is thought to have specific properties and has been employed in various therapy forms and spiritual practices. The 396 HZ frequency is linked with alleviating guilt and fear. The 417 HZ frequency with facilitating change and positive life transformations. The 528 HZ frequency, known as the love frequency, with DNA repairing capabilities and enhanced vitality. The 639 HZ frequency with improving communication and relationships. The 741 Hz frequency with fostering intuition and expanding consciousness, and the 852 is frequency with re-establishing spiritual order and awakening inner fortitude. Each frequency is utilized for alignment with divine and higher spiritual realms, playing an essential role in healing and spiritual evolution. As we wrap up our exploration of the extraordinary world of cymatics and its impact on everything from bee communication to cancer research and cognitive enhancement, it's clear that the unseen power of sound frequencies touches many aspects of life. From the architectural brilliance of honeycombs to Anthony Holland's groundbreaking cancer therapy, the unseen world of vibrations offers endless possibilities for discovery and innovation. The Mozart effect and the 432 HZ frequencies influence on our well-being remind us of the profound impact that sound and music have on our daily lives. The 528 HZ frequency, often referred to as the love frequency, particularly stands out as a testament to the healing power of sound. 
Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through the world of sound and vibration. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. Your thoughts and insights are invaluable to us, so please leave a comment below sharing your experiences or any questions you might have. Let's continue exploring these incredible scientific wonders together.